They've stayed this knowing the Supreme Court is going to get involved. <laughs> and we know this Supreme Court has been imperious in what it thinks it is its business to weigh in on. Um, what what do you what's your first thought about this headed headed to, to SCOTUS? Why do you think the conservatives would overturn Colorado? I mean, woo! <laughs> states' rights, brother. I mean, isn't that what the conservatives usually look? Of course, the Supreme Court is going to weigh in and likely overturn the Colorado State Supreme Court's interpretation of Colorado state law because the conservatives on the Supreme Court, who usually go on and on and on about states' rights, are hypocrites, and they are <laughs> comfortable being hypocrites, and they Correct. will be hypocritical in this situation, and they will overturn Colorado's own state court process, but they shouldn't. And when you're talking about writing this decision and what it must be like for the state court judge, I would like to point out that they were so aware of what SCOTUS was about to do in terms of bending over backwards that they literally quote Neil Gorsuch. Neil Gorsuch, when he was sitting on the federal circuit in Colorado, they quote Gorsuch for the opinion that Colorado gets to decide its own rules about who is qualified or not yes, for the it's... ballot in Colorado. That's a Gorsuch opinion that they quote in the thing. So if Gorsuch had any logical consistency, he would likely Let... uphold the Colorado state court opinion. But what we're about to see is just how, um, again, hypocritical and unserious the Supreme Court is when it comes to protecting their partisan sugar daddies like Donald Trump. Yeah, let me let me read from that because I, we only saw this because of you pointing it out. So credit where due. Um, they do. They 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 send this up to judge. You know, they know that Justice Gorsuch will almost certainly weigh on this. They say, as then Judge Gorsuch recognized in Hassan, this is the case they're citing. It is a state's legitimate interest in protecting the integrity and practical functioning of the political process that, quote, permits it to exclude from the ballot candidates who are constitutionally prohibited from assuming office. Um, Judge Cordell, you, you, I imagine you have the same interpretation that this is not an accident to, quote, Judge then Judge Gorsuch to possible Justice Gorsuch in possible Supreme Court review. Yeah, these justices know who their audience is. Uh, and their audience is the Supreme Court. They know this is headed that way. And I will tell you, Chris, quite frankly, there should only be eight justices on the Supreme Court hearing this case when it comes up. Uh, and I say that because Clarence Thomas has no business hearing this case. Why? Because his wife was uh, a major player in the whole insurrection. Um, and he should. He should, if he had principles, recuse himself. But I will guarantee you this. Clarence Thomas will recuse himself when Jenny flies. <laughs> I think